on the video subscribe if you haven't already and half of you ain't subscribed so hit that thing enable the bell for all notifications of course check out becoming a member of our channel here for just the low cost of like a iced coffee and as always check us out on patreon where you too can become a part of the performance center here and ladies and gentlemen we got a stacked one for you here tonight kicking us off it is gonna be a number one contenders matchup for the rush championship between Rio De Niro and Sean Knight. The winner of this will take on the winner of last week's number one contenders matchup, the Icon King, Tuan Montana, for the strike. A double debut match between Jason Prince and Blazin Devin Blades, both a part of the Alluvian, will collide here tonight. But who will walk out the winner of this one, repping the Alluvian? And of course, our main event of the evening, championship action as Sebastian St. challenges Florida man, Ricky Carson, for the Rush Breakout Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna pass it on down to D-Wall. I'll be back tonight with a very special announcement. Our opening contest is a number one contendership match for the Rush Championship. Thank you, Nathan. I am back here on Rush, and I am back for a good one. Number one contendership coming up right now. We're kicking it off with this man right here. Both of these men want to be in that contenders match for the Rush Championship. But only one man were go is going to get there. Of course, we know Juan Montana won his contenders match. And the winner of this will face him at the next live spectacular for Rush. Rio De Niro wants to get there. He wants to be in that top spot as much as his opponent does. But it's going to be a hell of a fight. We've seen... Rio here on Rush before. And just knowing that contendership is on the line, just knowing the stakes of this match just make it all the more important, makes it that much more. The stakes are could not be any higher for this match right here. And these two men have to realize that. And here's a man I've seen before as well. who I know is just as motivated to win this match, just as motivated to be in that contender spot. And the opponent, representing Trial by Flight, Sean Knight. Sean Knight representing Trial by Flight has had an impressive go here on Rush, but now, like I said, the stakes are even higher because you win this match, you're one step closer to the Rush Championship. A match of this magnitude cannot be overstated. And you cannot afford to look past your opponent. You cannot be afforded to look past the either man 
here in this match because this be, it could be going either way. Fans here at Club Rush getting set, and here we go. Sean Knight, Rio De Niro, one of these men is going to join Tuan Montana. As you see, Knight with a big jawbreaker docking each other's strikes here. I don't think these two men want to expend their energy too early in this match. They're both ducking each other's chops. As you see, back this knocked out of the way, another one, and now De Niro finally getting some strikes in and a huge uppercut. And again, I don't think these two want to take any unnecessary chances, especially in a match of this importance. Kick to the midsection by Knight now. Knight went for a chop again. It gets blocked. Both of these men are blocking each other's strikes. And now shot right to the arm. And now, look at this. Big sling blade. And roll through into a drop kick. Very nice. Quickly into a, the first cover of the matchup. One. That's all he's going to get. Just a one count there. And De Niro and Knight kicking us off here on Rush. A huge night as well because we know our main event tonight, Florida man Ricky Carson is going to be defending the Rush Breakout Championship against Sebastian Saint after that interaction they had on the last episode of Rush where Saint basically came out and said, Florida man, you don't deserve to have that championship. You've been handed everything. And Florida man, much I guess to the chagrin of the coach of Catch-22, Trey Mercer, he pretty much said, you know what? You think I don't deserve this championship? Well, guess what? I'm going to put it on the line against you, and I'm going to prove that I deserve it. And that's exactly what's going to happen in our main event tonight. But as you see, Rio now going for this Anaconda Vice, but Sean Knight immediately gets the knees in the back and gets out of that hole. And now more strikes. Both of these men going for strikes here, making sure to wear the other guy down because it's going to take a lot to put each other away. Big clothesline by Knight. And Rio, I don't think he saw that coming at all. And how could you go in that fast as Sean Knight is, of course, by tri a trial by flight in that camp. Known for his speed, known for his aerial offense, as you see here going up top, looking for something here. Went for the Swanton and nobody home. And now Rio up top, big missile drop kick halfway across the ring. And Rio now, Irish whip. Knight off the ropes, another sling blade. Doesn't follow up with the drop kick like he did before, though. Looking for some more offense here. Springboard European uppercut. And quickly into another cover. Hooks the leg, two and no. Again, the importance of this match cannot be overstated, folks. The winner of this match will join Tuan Montana, who also qualified last episode. As we get closer and closer to crowning our first Rush champion. As now, Rio went for a kick. And Knight got out of the way, off the ropes, and a sling blade of his own. Trying to one-up Rio there. I'm sure of it with that drop, with that sling blade, excuse me, is now off the ropes, and there's the swanton he was trying to look for earlier. Got all of it on the outside of the ring. But they've got to get back in the ring if they're going to get closer to that contendership. Only one of these men are going to advance. And Knight back in the ring, but De Niro went for something there and got a knee for his efforts. And now Sean Knight with a moonsault into the cover, hooking the leg. One, two, no. Rio De Niro obviously representing the left-hand path in this matchup, so it's no surprise that he's been more of the aggressor here. But Knight has been giving it to him as much as he's been taking it that's for sure and like I said with the stakes being so high both of these men realize they're going to have to take more than a few punches to the mouth in order to get closer to that rush championship 
And now, De Niro with the boots in the corner, choking him out. And gets the knees. And now it's Sean rolling through the outside. And it's now, wait a minute. It looks like it's De Niro's turn to fly, and he does with a suicide dive to the outside. Fans are kind of split on who they want to win this match. But regardless of that, I don't think either of these men are worried about fan reactions right now. They're focused on beating the other and moving on. That's the question they have to ask themselves. What do they have to do? What do I have to do to put this other man away? De Niro obviously is using more of an aggressive strategy in order to get the win here, but Knight is going to match him with that aggression with that Uranagi onto the steel barricade. And now Knight going in to break the count. That's a very smart play on his part because he can't win without that. And it all went for the Arabian press and got nothing but the mat. And now De Niro with a drop kick. He might have done more damage to himself though, but it was a risk worth taking in his mind because. He knows whatever it takes to get to the number one contendership for the Rush Championship. And big elbow drop from the top rope. The height and the elevation. There's two and no. Knight able to get the shoulder up and Rio cannot believe it. He thought he had it there. And honestly, I think, honestly, I thought he had it too, to be honest. As now, oh, went for something off the ropes and gets a roaring elbow for his efforts. I don't think anyone can deny the, the power and strength of Sean Knight. I don't think, I don't think anybody can question it. Big knee! And that might have knocked out Rio De Niro right there. The cover. Again, the hook and only a two. But you got to know that Rio was rocked off that huge knee. And now you see Sean Knight doing the smart thing. Hooking in a modified camel clutch. Trying to wear down the neck that he worked on with that knee and tried to go for a kick. De Niro got out of the way. De Niro now rolling through and again gets a knee. And now Knight again trying to slow the pace down. And I don't know, I don't know how this, if this favors Knight or if this favors De Niro, but right now it's favoring Knight significantly as he sends him into the barricade and I would have thought that it would be Rio who's trying to slow Knight down but either way it goes that steel barricade is obviously doing some damage as you see I think De Niro might be cut a little bit from those repeated strikes into the steel barricade but De Niro not letting us stop him dragon suplex on the floor what an opening match we are seeing here between these two is now going for the cover off that suplex on the outside there's two and Knight just barely kicks out it's now De Niro look at this butterfly Got him up and a big gut buster. As now, look out. Is he going for a second one? Yes, he might be going for it. And look at the angle that he had his neck at the same time. And now he's going to work on that neck with a knee right to the jaw. Cover. Two. No. Again. Sean Knight showing his determination, showing his will. And De Niro now coming back with, no, went for a bulldog and nobody home. 
Big chop and another one blocked. De Niro with a right hand. And now he gets his chop blocked. And both men going back and forth once again. Like how we started the match with both men delivering heavy strikes. And the corner goes De Niro. It's now Sean Knight. He can't waste time here. He's got to go for the kill now. Big knee. And now the cover. One, two, and oh, two and a half. Sean Knight almost had the win there, and he knows it. And that's why he continues to keep going after De Niro. And again, back to that inverted camel clutch. And this time, look at the way he's just pulling on the neck. And now off the ropes. Looking for something here. Maybe that sling blade again, but Knight able to slip out. And went for the roaring elbow, got it blocked. De Niro now with the strike, sending Knight down. And this may be, no, wait, never mind. I may have spoke too soon. Knight again gets out of the way. And another forearm, and another forearm. How many forearms can Rio De Niro possibly withstand? Oh, wait. Caught the knee with a powerbomb. Falling powerbomb out of the corner. Two and no. I honestly cannot believe Sean Knight was able to get out of that. But nonetheless, De Niro still has an opportunity in this match. But Sean Knight will not go away. DDT. Tilt a whirl, DDT. And now Knight's getting him up here. What's he thinking? He's got him by the hair, dragging him to the ropes. As now just tossing De Niro to the floor. He's now, oh, wait a minute. Looks like he might be ready to fly here. Off the ropes. And another senton over the top rope. This has been a hell of an opening matchup. And remember, the winner of this match faces Tuan Montana for the Rush Championship. Went for that. Went for that elbow, but nobody home is now De Niro with the knee. That man knocked him out. And it did. Real. Dendero advances. What a match. And you got to know the left hand path is happy about this win. And so is that man, Rio De Niro, one step closer to the Rush Championship. What a hell of a match this was. Thank you, D-Wall, an amazing opening contest to kick us off here tonight. Rio De Niro and Tuan Montana will be going one-on-one -on -one for the Rush Championship. And you know what it's going to be? It's going to be live at our next live spectacular for the Red Brand here on Rush. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live Saturday, October 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Rush Bad Blood. So we've got our main event set for this event, but what else will be to come? We'll have to wait and find out, but we'd like to give a quick shout out to Title for Superstitious, the official theme of Rush Bad Blood, streaming now on Spotify and Apple Music. Let me pass it on back to D-Wall as we continue with tonight's show. Thank you, Nathan. That was a huge announcement right there. As Rush Bad Blood coming your way October 5th, as he said. And the main event, obviously, for the Rush Championship, Juan Montana, the Icon King, takes on Rio De Niro, who just won his contenders match. But right now, we got some action coming up next. It's Johnny D is making his way out to the ring.
for some action here on Rush. And if you're his opponent tonight, let's just say I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be in Johnny D's way here tonight. I'm going through my notes. What's this guy's name? John 2K. John 2K. Okay. All right. All right, John 2K. Well, this is the guy you're going to have to face. And again, in any other event, I would probably say he's got he stands a little bit of a chance, at least a little bit of a fight, but this isn't uh I don't think this is the time or the place. As now, oh my god! As I said, I think Johnny D is not in the mood here tonight, and I can completely understand it. As now Johnny, oh, oh no, in the corner, and oh wait! John putting up a little bit of a fight, but uh, that did not work. And, and uh, it's not going to work there either. Johnny D is completely dominating 2K here. I mean, has he even had any, uh, any, uh, well, I was going to say if he does, he has he had any offense, but he just got power bombed. He almost got put right through the mat. Johnny D not screwing around the night nor did I expect him to do that as now running in and oh went for the discus lariat and nobody home as now oh never mind I was gonna say 2k was trying to put up some offense but uh, it gets quickly and efficiently shut down by Johnny D as now oh no oh no not another power bomb oh my god He's got him up on his shoulder. Oh, my God. You want to talk about being planted. You want to talk about being put through the ring. That's exactly what Johnny D is doing right here. He is not stopping either. This is the fourth powerbomb of this match. Oh, and no, no, no. That's not enough. No. Why, no, why don't we just give him one more? Give him one more. Why not? He's laughing about it too. He's happy. He 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 wants to do this all night long. And honestly, if he had his way, he probably would. One arm slinging John 2K back in the ring. And really, Johnny D could end this thing anytime he wants. But I don't think that's gonna help as 2K is finally getting some offense in. He's finally showing he has some fight in him. And I gotta give him credit. Some people would have just walked away by now. Some people would have just taken the count out and lived to fight another day. But Sakei is not doing that. It's now, oh no. I don't think uh, Johnny D's done. I think he wants to kick this man's head right off of his shoulders. And that's exactly what he does. And, this, and, John, and 2K's done. And Johnny D's like, yeah, you're, you're done, son. You're done. But you're done when I say you're done. You're done when I'm done. You want to keep getting up? Let me put your ass back down. There's a choke slam. You can count to 100. He ain't kicking out. Yeah, he, he wasn't kicking out. This man's done. I, I don't even know. What, what are we doing? Johnny D's like, oh, wait a minute. My son was saw me. Suffer probably the worst. Big my entire life. I couldn't even get a single two count on Yamashita. Not a single one. But what made it worse, it all happened on my son's fifth birthday. <sighs> so I, I went back to the drawing board. I went back to the gym. I trained. I worked my ass off. Hoping and praying for an opportunity to run it back with Yamashita. Praying for an opportunity 
to be the first man to beat him. Only well, for some other bastard in his own camp to steal the opportunity away from me. All, all just to create a masterpiece? Let me tell you something, screw your masterpiece. But you know what? We got another rush. Live spectacular coming up. So I'm taking this opportunity to throw it out of the gauntlet. Because I ain't nowhere near done being pissed off. Malkavian Lestat, you may run, you may hide, but at Bad Blood, your axe is mine! Oh my god. Johnny D laying out the challenge to Malkavian Lestat. He wants the man that beat Yamashita, and he wants him at Bad Blood. For Johnny D, What's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning into another episode of SWW. We just want to take a quick second to talk to you guys about our Patreon. As we continue to try to take the show and the channel more full time and produce even more content on a more regular basis, we need your help. Thus, a couple of months ago, we launched our Patreon, offering all kinds of cool rewards and perks, even at the standard tier with a low, low cost of just five bucks a month. With that, you're gonna be supporting the channel directly. You'll get sneak peeks at upcoming episodes, exclusive Discord perks and access, your name in the credits of every episode in Live Spectacular, and a call resource pack included with face textures, logos, tattoos, and more to help improve your call. Now our breakout tier is gonna get you more perks as well as the previously listed ones like 20% off merch at SWWshop.com, early access to some Adrenaline and Blitz episodes before they're on YouTube, and of course, access to the brand new SWW Performance Center, which is gonna be getting you on the show, on the channel here on Rush. For all information and everything regarding not only just the Performance Center, but all of our other rewards and perks, Head on over to our Patreon and check it out and consider helping further the expansion of SWW even further because without you guys, none of this is possible. So thank you all for tuning in once again. Without further ado, let's get back to the action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rush. And we have a double debut coming up right now. Two men making their rush debuts. Both looking to impress. Our next matchup is Studio 401 Ball. If you feel first, we're presenting the Illusion, Jason Perk. Two members of the Illuvian coming out to compete here tonight and obviously looking to impress. Because if you know anything about the Alluvian and you know who runs that camp, you know that failure is not an option. And both of these men, Jason Prince right here and Blazing Devin Blades does not want to go into this and disappoint the Alluvian by any stretch of the imagination. But let's talk about, just for a second, that massive match, that, that challenge that was made just before that break. At Bad Blood, Johnny D wants Malkavian. Because Johnny D still pissed off at the fact that not only can he not get his win back over Yamashita, but that Malkavian did it first. Malkavian was the one that beat Yamashita's undefeated streak. And he wants him at bad blood. Yes, blazing yes. But now, yes, blazing, yes. here comes yes, yes, Jason's blazing, opponent. And his opponent, yes, blazing, yes. representing yes, blazing, the Illusion, yes, blazing, yes. Blazing. Yes, blazing. 
Like I said, these are two men making their rush debuts here tonight, and both men do not want to disappoint the Alluvian. Hell, I wouldn't want to disappoint the Alluvian. Are you kidding me? I value my life. But regardless of whether you value your life or not, the point is these two men want to do nothing more than impress and show that they belong in the camp that they are in. Here we go. Bell rings, we are underway. As now, look at this. Blades immediately rolling up. Prince, and that would have been a quick, and I mean quick, victory. As now, look at this. Same the other way. Only a two count. Both men want to get this done and get it done quickly, obviously. And again, when you're, when you're making your debut here on Rush, obviously you want to leave a lasting impression. But when you've got the Alluvian backing you, that just puts extra pressure. As now, look at this. Oh! And now look at this. Into the rings of Saturn. But Blade's quickly getting out of it. And the reason I say it puts heavy pressure on you is because, again... You know who runs the Alluvian. And failure is not an option in any camp. But with the Alluvian, it's ten times more. As now, look at this. Inverted sharpshooter locked in. But now look at this, Blades able to get out of it. And now, oh, what a knee! What a knee by Prince! And that may have knocked him out. One, two, only a two count. Oh, big kick to the side of the head. And oh, went for the double axe handle, nobody home. Oh, what a kick. That, that got him right in the chest as now Jason Prince on the offense. More kicks. And now Devin coming back with some strikes of his own. Sending Prince into the corner. Uh-oh. Look at this. Wait. No. Caught that. And a kick to the ribs. That'll slow anybody down. And now, Devin drops him, drops that forearm. And now, big leg drop. I don't know if uh, the Alluvian's gonna like all the showboating and the handstanding, but nonetheless, nonetheless, it's just getting the getting the uh, getting the win there. As now, Jason Prince coming back. Irish whip, nope. Irish whip into the corner, nope. Big elbow. And another big knee. And Blade to the outside. Trying to get some, trying to get some air, but I don't think he's going to last very long. Never mind, I smoked too soon. As Devin gets out of the way and delivers an elbow off the apron. Very impressive. And remember, folks, stay tuned because coming up, we still have our main event, Sebastian Saint challenging Florida man Ricky Carson for the Rush Breakout Championship. That is still to come tonight as you see a sling blade and a drop kick by Devin Blades. Blades now with the senton to the back. Into the cover. One, two, and no. And Blades can't believe it, but he cannot get frustrated right now. He has got to get back on the offense, and there's why. Just that short bit of hesitation cost him. And there's an insiguri. 
Both men cannot afford to get frustrated. They, I know it's their debut, but you can't get caught up too much in the bright lights and miss out on a crucial victory because both of these men at some point could challenge for the breakout championship. But you got to get wins first, especially with it being your debut. It's now an ankle lock locked in by Blades. Prince Abe trying to get his way free and kicks it right in the face. That's a good way to get out of it. And now, speaking of kicks, looks like he's going to get him some more. He's like, one's not enough. I need at least six or seven more just to knock your ass out. And that may be what he just did. Cover. Two. No. My God, what a match between these two. What a way to make your debut. A double debut, if I'm being specific. Big super kick. And now, hooks the arms. Lockdown German. Cover here. Two. Only a two count. As now, Devin off the ropes. Big clothesline. Puts him away. Runs through with a neck breaker. Blockbuster to be more specific about it. There's a cover. That might be it. No, it is not. And again, we're back to square one with these two. As now, Prince with the Spanish fly. And now, Jason Prince has got Devin Blaze literally and figuratively on the ropes. Hooks him up. Slingshot into the sit-out powerbomb. Into the cover. Two and only two. He had his legs properly across the shoulders, but it wasn't enough for three. As now, big roundhouse kick right to the back of the head. Out of nowhere. The cover. Two. And again, Blades kicks out. And I got to believe Prince thought that was it. But it is not. This match continues. Irish right, whipping the corner. Went for that clothesline again, but only gets his... The feet of Prince. Prince went for a knee, didn't connect, and there's a cutter! Springboard cutter off the top! Cover! Two! And again, not enough! Both of these men are showing exactly why they may be the future of this brand, in my personal opinion, because they have given us a show here tonight. And they have really shown that the Alluvian can find talent. That's for sure. As now Blades off the ropes with the moonsault. Into the cover. One, two, two count. And again, this is where the frustration might begin to set in for both of these men. They've tried everything at this point and nothing has seemed to work. Prince now, nice moonsault. As now, Prince going up top. What's he looking for here? Went for the 450 and nobody home. As now, Blades drops him round the back of his head. One, two, got him. Wow. What a match. Devin Blades with an impressive debut, but you got to give it up for both of these men. They damn sure proved themselves here tonight, but Devin Blades with an impressive victory here on Rush in his debut. But coming up next, the breakout titles on the line, folks.
Here we go. The Rush Breakout Championship is on the line. This man last, last episode of Rush confronted the Florida man and basically said, you don't deserve that championship. That other people like himself. Sebastian Saint saying other people have may have deserved those opportunities. That he was just Florida man was just handed an opportunity. And Florida man basically said, I went through seven other men to win the breakout championship. You want a shot at it. I'm not a hard man to find, and now that has led us to this point. That has led us to this night where Sebastian Saint has an opportunity to back up his words and become the Rush Champion. But it's not going to be easy going up against someone who may be considered the most popular man on the Rush roster right now. And look, Sebastian not even giving him the time of day, not even caring. And there he is. And his opponent, representing Pat Kinsu, he is the one right now jumping in, Florida Man, Ricky Carson. Florida Man Ricky Carson became the Rush breakout champion by going through seven other men in a battle royal at SummerSlam and now he's making his first defense of that championship can Sebastian Saint pull it off Can he become the Rush Breakout Champion? We are about to find out. And Sebastian, like I said, he, he doesn't care about Florida man Ricky Carson. Look at that. See? Doing push-ups in the middle of the ring. As now Florida man saying, you can do that. I can do that too. And oh, look at that. Oh, just a tactic by Sebastian Saint luring Ricky Carson in and now he's taking advantage of it and this is what Sebastian Saint has been saying that Florida man is just a joke and that he's a real wrestler that he's a real athlete and he deserves that championship look at that forearm in the face and look at that not even finishing the count because he wants to put more damage on Ricky Carson he wants to send a message as now look at this Florida man with a back body drop. And I can see why some people in the back would say Ricky Carson's nothing but a joke. But Ricky has proven here that he is a real wrestler. That Florida man is deserving of the breakout championship, but people like Sebastian Saint don't think so. He, they think People like Sebastian Saint feel that somebody like Ricky Carson doesn't deserve the spot that he's been given, that he earned. Now Sebastian has a shot tonight. He has an opportunity to be in Ricky Carson's position, to be the breakout champion. He has that opportunity tonight, but he's got to go through the Florida man to do that. And it ain't going to be an easy track for him. It ain't going to be as easy as he seems to claim. As you see Ricky Carson with the strikes. But oh, just sending the barricade there. And now Sebastian Saint with the rights and lefts. And now taking down Florida Man. 
And now Sebastian going to break the count because he knows he can't win the championship on a count out. As now, look at this, sends him into the ring post. And again, this is what Sebastian Saint's whole message has been, that he's better than Ricky Carson. Well, tonight he's got the opportunity to prove that he's better than Ricky Carson by beating him in the middle of the ring. And if he can do that tonight, then he will have definitely proven himself to be the Rush champion. But Florida Man's not going to let that happen. As now, oh no, another belly to belly. Gave him like three of those on the outside of the ring. And now he gives him one inside the ring. Now Irish Whip into the corner. And a big forearm. And Carson gives him one back. And a huge headbutt. Florida man may be unorthodox, but that's why people love him. And spear off the middle rope. Almost cut him in half. One, two, no. And so, oh, wait a minute. Sebastian rolls him up. I don't think Florida man saw it coming. Two and oh. We almost had a new champion right there. And Sebastian, now he gets rolled up. Jack Knight pin. Cover. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, in with sunset flip. One. Two, no. And that's how quickly this match can change here, folks. Schoolboy by Florida Man. One, two, no. This match can change in a heartbeat. As you see right there, Sebastian with a clothesline. As now sending Carson in and a big shoulder tackle. And now, look out. Oh, look at the strength of Sebastian. Got wrench power bomb. And Sebastian Saint just reveling in the punishment that he's delivering to Florida Man right now. He wants Florida Man to suffer. He wants Florida Man to know I was the one a quote unquote real wrestler did this to you. In terms of Ricky Carson, as you see now, the unorthodox style. A Florida man with this gator roll into the gut wrench. Holds him into the suplex. And Florida man's on a roll. Literally. Cover. Two. Only a two count. Let's now look at this. He's got that. He had that modified camel clutch locked in. And oh no. Now Sebastian. Has got a bear hug locked in. Bear hug applied the Florida man trying to squeeze the life out of the breakout champion, but Ricky Carson's not going to let it happen. Bell clap gets out of that. And now Florida man trying his best to fight back, but Sebastian with a knee to the midsection. And now Sebastian's the one with the strikes. Sebastian's the one trying to fight back, but Florida man now, look at this. Bear hug of his own now on Sebastian Saint. And I don't think Sebastian had this in mind, but Florida man, he couldn't hold him. He's trying to pump himself back up, trying to get these fans behind him. Like they have been his entire run here on Rush. And now look at this one arm with the scoop slam. And Florida man trying to hold on to that breakout championship. As you see, he's going up to the high rent district now. Looking for something off the top. Big splash. Hooks the leg. One, two, and no. Sebastian able to kick out. As now, Ricky Carson trying to drag him away from the ropes. Very smart strategy so he doesn't get a rope break. And now, big leg drop. No, that was a senton, not a leg drop. Cover. Two. No. Looked like a leg drop, but it looked like he maneuvered it in the last second into a leg, into a senton. Again, that unorthodox style of Ricky Carson. Not a lot of people can prepare to face someone like him because you never know what he's going to do next. But now he just gets tossed with a German suplex. And now Sebastian going to use that power to his advantage. 
deadlift German suplex into the cover with the bridge, but Carson kicks out. And you gotta wonder how much more Ricky Carson can take. As now, oh, look at this. He's gonna use Ricky's own gator all against him, saying anything you can do, I can do 10 times better. Gut wrench suplex. And that's what this whole thing has been about. Sebastian Saint feeling like Ricky Carson isn't at the level that all the other wrestlers in the back are. But that right there was a discus right hand. A fastball by Ricky Carson. Carson saying, yeah, I may be unorthodox. I might be different. But damn it, I earned this championship. And there's nothing wrong with being different. There's nothing wrong with being different than everybody else. It, it's what makes Ricky Carson unique. And there's a right hand. And that man knocked him out. And we might have a new champion right now. One, two, no. And you can see the frustration on Sebastian's face. He thought he had that match won. He, he thought that was it. And now Carson being dragged by his hair. Again, the disrespect. As now Sebastian is looking to put the final nail in the coffin of the Florida man and win the breakout title. Got run suplex from the top. And again, going for a cover. One, two, no, again, Ricky Carson kicks out. And again, you can see the frustration on Sebastian's face. For someone who he didn't who for someone who he didn't think was a real wrestler, he damn sure is keeping up with Sebastian right now. And I think that's what's frustrating him the most. He thought this was gonna be an easy night, probably. At least in my opinion. If Ricky Carson was such a joke as he claims, he probably would have had this match won by now. But obviously Ricky Carson isn't a joke. He's a serious contender. He's a serious champion. He earned the right to call himself champion when he won that battle royal. And now Sebastian is looking to do more damage on the outside. Another belly to belly on that concrete section of the floor. There are no pads right there, so that's just straight concrete that he just delivered a belly to belly suplex to. And now Sebastian sending Carson back in the ring and feeling like that's it. Into the cover, hooks, didn't even hook the leg, just a forearm in the face. More disrespect. And if he had hooked the leg, maybe he would have got a better pin right there. Obviously, that wasn't the case. But again, it shows the disrespect that Sebastian has for Florida Man. As now he's got a power bomb looking to size him up, but Ricky Carson able to break out of it. No pun intended for the title he holds, as now Carson looking to fight back here. Back body drop. And now, with the spine buster. And Ricky Carson's fired up now. He's fired up like he's fired up on those NASCAR weekends. I'll tell you what, Ricky Carson wanted to show Sebastian Saint exactly why he's the breakout champion. As now Carson, what's he thinking here? Wait a minute, oh my God, the pow! Spear! That might be it, one, two, no, oh my God. That, I, I, I don't know how the hell Ricky Carson got out of that. And now both men exchanging blows here for the breakout championship. Back and forth we go. Ricky Carson is not going to be denied on this night. Sebastian Saint wants to prove that Carson doesn't deserve to hold that title, but Ricky Carson is saying, you're damn right I deserve it. You're damn right I earned it. You're damn right I'm the breakout champion. And Carson wants his ass up. He wants to prove 
that he belongs by all. Sebastian with a right to the eyes. And now, rights and lefts. And together now. And Sebastian, once again, the Gator roll. Clear disrespect to the breakout champion. And no matter what you think of Sebastian Saint, he has shown up here tonight. And whether you like his attitude or not, this has been a hell of a match between these two. That's for sure. As Carson with the wrist control into the clotheslines. Two of them. And a third one. And now Ricky Carson. Is he looking for that splash again that he hit earlier? No. Sebastian recognizing it, getting up to his feet. Oh, went for the centaur, but look at the power of Sebastian Saint now. Oh, was he gonna power bomb him on the outside? It looked like he was trying to do that, trying to do that, but Ricky Carson recognizing the danger got out of it. Now the strikes continue. Wow, what a hit toss by Ricky Carson. And Florida man with a modified camel clutch, but Sebastian quickly able to get out of it. Missed the kick. Big forearm by Carson. Carson now from behind into a backdrop driver. And that might be it. Hooking the leg. One, two, and no. Saint kicks out. And now Sebastian going to the relative safety of the ropes, but Florida man off those ro same ropes. Close line Saint outside the ring. And now Carson, he doesn't want to count out. He wants to pin or make Saint submit in the middle of the ring. He wants to leave no doubt about it. Off the top, big shoulder tackle. Taking him down into the cover. One, two, and again Saint kicks out. And Florida man can't believe it. And now Ricky Carson with the strikes. Sebastian was rocked, and now he's rocking Carson. And now look out. Wrist control into the Northern Light Suplex with a beautiful bridge, might I add. But it's still not enough, and Sebastian can't believe it. Again, like I said, how much more can Florida man take? He has taken a hell of a lot of abuse in this match at the hands of Sebastian Saint. Gut wrench into the power bomb, and I think his head may have hit the turnbuckle on the way down. And now, oh, warm by Carson. Carson now running in, going for another gut wrench, but Sebastian with the elbows. And now look out. He's got the jackknife pin. Two. No, Florida man with a sunset flip. Florida man with a sunset flip. Two and no. Oh, Sebastian up to his feet. Wait a minute. He didn't see this coming. Drops him. Round the top of his head out of nowhere. One, two, and Florida man retains. How's that for a real wrestler? Here is your Louis Five Pinfall and still the Buck Breakout Champion, Florida Man. Ricky Carson proved himself in that battle royal and he damn sure did it tonight in a hell of a match with Sebastian Saint and he is still the Rush Breakout Champion. Thank you guys for joining us here tonight on Rush for a hell of an episode. Thank you once again and we will see you next time for the man still the Breakout Champion folks celebrating in the ring <laughs> these fans love him and he proved tonight he deserves to hold that gold around his waist again thank you once again for joining us for another episode of Rush a hell of a championship match between Sebastian Saint and Florida man Ricky Carson who's still the breakout champion we will see you next time for another episode of Rush.
Good night, everybody.